Hey everyone, welcome back, Round Geek here. So today I will be showing you that how to create a Medicat USB step by step. And if you are not sure what Medicat USB is, then let me tell you, it's a must have tool for all the IT professional and even for everyone looking to troubleshoot or recover from the serious computer issues. And with its broad range of tool, you can handle everything from virus removal to system repair to data recovery and the disk partitioning and even many more things. So without wasting any further time, let's quickly get started. So bring up any of your favorite browser and you have to search for Medicat USB. Click on the first link here that says Medicat USB Computer Diagnostic and Recovery Toolkit. And you will come to their official website. Now here if you scroll down a bit, it says Password Removal Tool ransomware and the malware recovery partitioning and the disk utilities backup and data recovery there are even many more things that you can do with the medicat usb that i will be showing you by the end of this video now before downloading the medicat you will have to make sure that you connect your usb that should be at least of 30 gigabyte in space or more than that and then you also need to disable your antivirus or your windows security for a while so that none of the file of the Medicat should be blocked by the antivirus. All right, so on my end, you can see I have a USB here that is a Kingston and it contains 57.6 gigabyte free space. So that's perfect for me. So once you have connected, now you will have to disable your Windows security. So click on your Windows search, type virus and click on virus and threat protection. Under virus and threat protection setting, you will have to click on manage settings. Disable the real time, dev drive, cloud delivered, tamper protection, all the protection you have to disable here until the Medicat USB has been created. All right, so once you have created, again, you can come back to their website. Now you will have to click on download here. Then it will give you some other options here like the installer, main download, and in the installer, you will find Windows or for the Linux. So you can enjoy this Medicat USB on both the operating system. Now creating the Medicat USB is more convenient and more easy on the Linux as none of the file get blocked. But if you have disabled the Windows security properly, then you will not have the problem in the Windows as well. So now as we are doing in the Windows here, so I will click on Windows here. And the bat file of the Medicat USB will be quickly downloaded. So open the downloaded folder. Right click on the Medicat installer here. Click run as admin so that it should have all the permission to run the file. Click on more info here and click on run anyway. Click on yes. And very soon you will be getting the Medicat installer page like this. And it says Medicat contain tools that may trigger your antivirus due to how some of the tools work. So press any key here to proceed. Now it will be downloading the initial file. So you will have to wait until it's all been done. It won't take much time here. And then finally, you will be getting another page that says welcome to the Medicat installer. Again here, you have to press any key to continue. Next, it gives you some kind of warning at the top. It says if you paid for this software, then you are being scammed. So make sure that this tool is for absolutely free. And if someone is charging you any kind of amount or any website is charging any kind of amount, then they are probably the fake website. So kindly be aware of them. OK, so in order to continue, press any key again. And then finally, you will be coming to this kind of page. It gives you many options here like install Medicat, toggle drive format, Medicat Discord, visit site, check USB file. Now what we need exactly here is the install Medicat option. So click on it. Then it says getting the current Ventoy version. It's associated with the Ventoy. So again, wait for some time. And it says checking if current version on system update found downloading the latest Ventoy. Okay, now it says we now need to find out what drive you will be installing to. So now here you have to select your USB that you want to make the Medicat bootable USB. So in case if you are not sure, then you can bring up the file explorer and you can have a look here on your drive. On my end, it's Kingston F drive. So I can go back and here I can found it Kingston F. So I will select it, click on OK. Waiting for five seconds, it says please confirm that now this is your USB drive. So I need to type the drive letter here of my USB. So again, I can confirm it. It's F drive. So I will type F and hit the enter key. Next, it says, would you like to use GPT 
most computers should be okay with GPT. However, some very old machine may have issues. So yes, I would like to use the GPT. So I will click on yes. Would you like to use the secure boot recommended for most computer? Yes, I would like to use it. Click on yes. Please wait installing Ventoi. Please close the file explorer when done. If frozen for more than 60 seconds, install the Ventoi manually. Now, if you have disabled the entire virus, probably it will not be blocking it. And once it will be done, you will be getting a notification at the right hand corner that the Ventoi has been created. And if I bring up the file explorer here, so you will find that our USB has been now converted to Ventoi. All right, so next it says enter drive letter or hit enter. So again, I will hit the enter key. And now next it says could not find the Medicat file. Would you like to download them? Selecting no will let you find the file. Now we have not downloaded the Medicat file that contain all the file with the tool. So we have to download now. So you will have to click on yes here. Then it says how would you like to grab the file faster with the torrent direct with the CDN. So you can go with any of the option here. I will go with the faster one that is the torrent. So I will click on it. And now finally, the downloading of the Medicat file will be started. Now in between, if it asks you for any permission or to install anything, then you have to go with that process. And then you will find that the downloading of the Medicat file has been started. Now, if you have a look here, it says 21 gigabyte. So that was the reason I told you that your pen drive should be at least of 30 gigabyte in a space. All right, so now it's going to take a long time, guys, because it's around 21 gigabyte of file. So you will have to just relax and sit until the downloading is being completed. All right, guys. So finally, the Medicat USB has been created here. And you can have a look here on my file explorer. It says Medicat USB. Even the icon has been changed. And if I open it, so you will find all the tool here by the name Antivirus, Backup, Backup and Recovery, Boot Repair, Diagnostic Tool, Live Operating System, Partition Tool, Password Removal, so many more things that are included in this tool. And now let me quickly show you the overview that how exactly this tool work. So now once your Medicat USB has been created, now you need to connect this USB to the computer where you want to use it. Connect it, restart the computer and boot with this Medicat USB. And once loaded, you will be getting this kind of Medicat USB page and it will give you all the tool here like antivirus, backup and recovery, Boot Repair, Diagnostic Tool, Live Operating System, Partition Tool, Password Removal, and the Windows Recovery. Alright, so let me show you a few of them. If I go with the entire virus one here, so it gives me the malware byte option. And if I hit the enter key, then it says malware byte bootable. So yes, I want to go with it. So I will again hit the enter key. And the malware byte bootable will now be loading up. And you will be getting this kind of dashboard and it says your system is not fully protected. We don't have to go with that. Simply click on scan now if you feel that your computer has some viruses or any kind of malware. So connect this USB, go with the malware byte, click on scan now. And it will be scanning all the file, looking each and everything. And if anything has been detected, it will automatically delete it. Alright, so this is the first option that you can enjoy. Again, you have to go ahead and restart the computer and boot with the Medicat USB. Then you have the backup and recovery. And here you get many other tools like Acronis Cyber Backup, AOMI Backupper, Ezus Data Recovery, To Do Backup, Mini Tool Power Data Recovery, Mini Tool Shadow Maker. So these are the tools that you can use for the data recovery or backing up your data. So let's go with one of these tools here that is AOMI Backupper. So again, I will select it, hit the enter key. Again, I will hit the enter key and it will start loading up and very quickly you will find this kind of dashboard and you can see here it's a free tool and that is the best part guys. You don't have to go with any uh, paid plan. Everything you can do with this tool here without paying any kind of money. Okay. And all the options will be available for you. There will not be any kind of limitation. All right. So in this tool, you can see you get the backup option from the left hand side. You can go with the backup. Backup, delete, disco. Uh, I think it's in a different language. You can change it. Then you have the clone option. So if you want to clone your hard drive or your SSD, your Windows operating system, then you can easily do that. All right. So these are the things you can check it. Now, in case if you need a detailed video on any of the tool here, 
that how exactly you have to use them then you can let me know in the comment section i cannot cover in this video guys or else the video will be very lengthy okay again so let me go ahead and restart the computer and boot with the medicat usb now next we have the boot repair so you can go with the boot repair option here and in the boot repair you get many other options many other tools like boot repair disk easy ufi super grub to disk so let's go with the boot repair disk and see how exactly it work and once it get loaded you will be getting this kind of page it says it's strongly recommended to always use the latest version of the software so you can go ahead and download it the latest version and now you will find that it automatically started the scanning here so if you have any problem with the boot where your hard disk or you have the issues while loading up your windows operating system then you can easily fix this by using this tool here it says repair the boot of the computer so you can click on the advanced option and then you can click on other option and make sure that all these options repair windows boot file and everything has been checked click on repair file and it says please back up your data before this operation so you can click on ok and you can see a box here where you can back up the file and choose the location wherever you want to take the backup and once it's been done now you can click on apply and the repairing of your windows boot file will be started and once it will be done it says boot successfully repaired okay now what you can do you can just simply go ahead and restart the computer and check back if your computer issues have been now fixed or not so another amazing tool including in the medicat now let's go back and so you have the diagnostic tool and the live operating system so if you also want to enjoy the live operating system so you can just select it and here you get three options active data studio mini windows 10 system rescue so let's say if i want to go with mini windows 10 i will select it hit the enter key and it will start loading up and very soon you will find that the live operating system is been up now here this can be very useful for you either you can use it to plug and play and in start using your computer to any other machine or you can also do many other things like you can do the data recovery or you can even manage your user account password or pin or right, let me show you many times it happened that your pc has been crashed or it's not booting up and you're not able to take the backup before formatting it or before resetting it or even if you are scared that while doing the troubleshooting you may lose your data then what you can do you can connect this medicat usb boot with the live operating system and bring up the file explorer here and here you will find all the partition here now you can connect any other external drive or usb and take all the data that you had on your computer so very easy and very convenient way to take the data back up before formatting or before resetting it in case if you are not able to load to your windows operating system and so on guys you get many other options like for the partition manager so if you want to manage your partition like you want to shrink the volume you want to rebuild the mbr you want to delete the partition you want to convert mbr to gpt or gpt to mbr everything can be done using the tool available in this medicat usb a part of that you also get the password removal option where you can choose which account you want to reset or do you want to remove the password simply boot with this tool here you can bring up the windows login unlocker and it will find all your user account that you have created on your computer so let's say if i have forgotten the password for my this user account by the name blue i will simply select it and then i get different options either you can bring them by making a right click or even you can find at the bottom of the page so if i right click here so you can see i can either disable this account i can reset the password i can change the password i can delete the user whatever i want to i will go with the easiest option here that i will be resetting it so i will click on it reset the user password yes i will click on ok and bingo so you can see the user password has been resetted now the next time when i start my computer it will not be asking me for any kind of password and i can very easily log into my device all right guys so these are the options these are the benefit why i recommend everyone to have this medicat usb so that they can easily do tons of things do a lot of data recovery managing the partition managing their user account password many more things and that's all guys for today hopefully you found the information useful this medicat usb a very popular usb and if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye